This week I'm testing the new Nissan Leaf EV. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the Nissan Leaf there are Isofix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guide but are quite easy to connect to. On the back of all three backrests there are top tether anchorages clearly labelled and easily accessible through the boot. Now I could only fit two child seats in the back here. It is quite spacious surprisingly but I could only get the two in and forward facing or rear facing will fit. With rear facing child seats installed we could just get a 180cm passenger in front. Storage in the back of the Nissan Leaf is quite minimal. There's just two mat pockets on the back of the front seats. They will hold but not conceal an iPad. And the door bins are small but they will hold a large refillable water bottle. And there's the little wells in the handles too. In the front the storage is a bit better. There's two cup holders in the central console here. They will hold a reusable as well as a disposable coffee cup. And a large refillable water bottle fits in there too. Behind them is a really small central console box and in front is a phone charging well and you've got your USB and 12 volt sockets there too. The glove box is a good size in here actually and I could get my wallet and my iPad in there with the manual. There's no glasses case unfortunately but the door bins will hold a large refillable water bottle and they've got the little wells and the handles too. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot of the Nissan Leaf. Empty, it will hold nine shopping bags. Or the Duet Twin Stroller fits with no shopping bags. The Flex Tandem Stroller fits with two shopping bags. The Single Stroller fits with one shopping bag. And the Compact Stroller fits with six shopping bags. Or a medium sized dog. Nissan Leaf does have quite a violent lane departure warning, a vibration but also quite a disturbing sound. The e-pedal does make driving really good fun and nippy which is great and the fact that it's electric means I can drive my daughter to sleep, I'm not using any fuel and it's not costing me any money. So I have found this week with the Nissan Leaf that the battery life and range is not as big as other cars that I've tested so I have had to charge it more. But that's simple, I've just done it at the shops, at the zoo, or just at home. The media system in the Nissan Leaf is nice and easy to navigate and to use. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which is fantastic. When I put it into reverse, the camera image is a bit pixelated. You do get the two views though. You do get quite a lot of glare on the screen as well. You can mute the parking sensors with a button down by your left knee. To sum up with the Nissan Leaf, it would be a practical and nippy car for a small family. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au